let's just let's just speed all this. in DC, uh, just camera prepping these cameras before our event later on today. Um, it's the event is in about two to three hours. So it's a black community Nike event for Black History Month. And it's gonna be at the Smithsonian here. I've never heard of the Smithsonian before this project. so. We still have a little time before call time. About to go walk and grab a coffee and get away of the land here in Washington. seen a Uniqlo and every time I'm in a city that has like a Uniqlo that's close I try to hit it to grab some more some more beanies these beanies that that I, I wear the thing about this material on this beanie is like after a while it starts beating up and it just looks um, worn it doesn't look as fresh I, I like this material it doesn't seem like it's gonna beat up too much I try to get the more simple uh, style beanies and the smaller ones. There's no logos, no branding. A lot of beanies that you find are just like too big. Um, so I try to go for the smaller beanies and then like I double fold them so they can, you know, just fit on my head a little better. But so I got a dark gray beanie and the other one I got is black, you know, the go-to black. Uh, this beanie was only $19. Let's see, put it on. Boom. sure um, the footage is double backed up and we're dumped. For the rest of the night, I just gotta break down cameras and prep them for travel. Really early flight tomorrow morning. I think my flight takes off at like six or, or 5 a.m. Just being there to hear all these elite athletes and activists and authors uh, speak was such a refreshing thing to hear and it, and it was inspiring to just talk about these ideas of culture and art. It just got me thinking about how deep problems run within culture and gatekeeping. Talking about gatekeeping in the film industry to be specific has a lot of gatekeepers, has a lot of information being withheld due to insecurities, due to people scared of losing their job to someone younger, someone a little sharper or more talented. It just got me thinking like, the more, the longer I'm in this industry and the more I experience, 
I feel like it's almost my duty to do things and then talk about them. And, and what that means is the more I sharpen my skills as a cinematographer, director, I feel like it's my responsibility to reach back and give information to others. And in a way, me just existing and being black in the industry, in the film industry that is already hard to get into, that is a, a mountain to climb in itself. That's a challenge in itself. I say that to say me just even participating is an act of courage. And I think with that courage, I don't wanna stop there. I wanna show people, you can look like me. You can come from not having things and your parents not having a VHS camera and they handed it down to you and that's how you made your first film. It's like, there's other stories that need to be told. A lot of up and coming or aspiring creatives never get to tell that their story because they've never seen someone that looks like them tell theirs. That is the most powerful thing. Just seeing someone that looks like you doing something other than things you see on social media, like careers, like basketball, football, you know, sports, and just these things that as a young kid growing up, these things look or feel more attainable just because that's where you see the most representation. I just feel like it's my responsibility to show people that there's this whole world over here and you can be something within that world. Just, just take filmmaking for an example. You can be a PA, producer, director, gaffer, grip, so on, so on. Like there's these industries that almost feel like they're being hidden or it just, it almost feels like you just don't see as much representation within these industries. So people that look like me or people who have similar backgrounds as me don't even think it's possible. They don't think it's an option. They're not even gonna try. They're not even, it's like, it's almost more difficult to do something like being a filmmaker rather than make it to the NFL or the NBA. Like that comparison sounds so crazy to a lot of people who almost have the almost have privilege. They're like, oh, well, filmmaking's always been there and it's so accessible and just go buy a camera or just go pick up your phone. I think it's a lot deeper than just picking up a phone or picking up a camera. It's like people want to know where they can actually take it. They don't want to waste their time. They don't they want to see themselves doing it at the high level and believe that it's actually possible. And it's really hard for people to believe that it's actually possible if they've never seen anyone look like them do it and tell their story and vocalize the process and the information that is needed to actually believe it. For example, and I think I'll, I'll end it here. Growing up, if you want to be an NFL player, there's almost step-by-step -step information readily available for a young kid who wants to be, make it to the NFL. Do it and talk about it a lot more. Whatever you do, talk about it a lot more. Talk about the process. When you do something, you accomplish it and you get some success or notoriety or accomplishments, talk about it. Talk about the process. Talk about the information that people could use to do the same thing and possibly more.